Two-point perspective is a way to draw things in 3D. Um, it also is a way to show perspective or depth in your piece. Um, it's very similar to one-point perspective, except instead of one vanishing point, we're going to pick two. When I'm first practicing, I'll usually put them um, pretty much on the same plane. I could draw my horizon line through them. My next step is to think about how a shape would look if it was going backwards in two different directions. So I'm going to start by drawing a corner. Um, if you look at a corner straight on, if you draw just the closest part, it's just going to be a line. So essentially I'm going to draw a line, but that's my corner. So now to make my shape, I need to connect the top and bottom to each vanishing point. I drew these lines kind of light because I know I'm going to erase part of them in the end. Um, my next step is to draw parallel lines to decide where my, I'm making a box, where my box is going to end. So one on the left and one on the right parallel to my center, my corner line. Now I've got all this extra stuff, so I'm going to start to erase the lines that I don't need. I'm not making a see-through box, so I'm going to erase my horizon line. I look. Uh, my box also ends, so I need to get rid of these lines that I drew um, beyond the box that go to the vanishing points. And I can use my ruler again to darken up these lines so that you can see my shape better. Next I'm going to do one that goes above the horizon line. My corner needs to stay within my two vanishing points though, so nothing over here and nothing over here. So I'm going to um, put my corner uh, kind of up here. Okay, my next step is the same as this box. I'm going to connect my end points of my corner to both vanishing points. Now this one, before I draw, I notice that it's going to hit this shape. So I can decide uh, if I want my shape to be longer, then I would draw stop when I hit this box in the middle and continue on the other side. If I know that I want my box to end um, before it hits this shape, then I don't need to draw this line. Um, my next step is the same though two parallel lines, one on the left, one on the right, to decide how long my box is going to be. Now I'm going to get rid of the lines that I don't need, so anything that extends beyond where my box is. Now I'm missing a side. When it's above my horizon line, I can see the bottom. So I need to connect my, my line on my right to my vanishing point on my left and my line on my left to my vanishing point on the right. Now I am not going to extend it because I know that I'm going to get rid of part of this because where these two lines cross is where that far away corner is. So now I can get rid of anything that extends past that crossing point. I'm going to do one um, down here now, below the horizon line. I'm going to put it kind of close to the shape because I'm going to show you what happens when I go behind. So I start with my corner. Next step is the same. Connect my corner top and bottom to each vanishing point. Now 
Next step is the same. Two parallel lines, one on the left, one on the right, to decide how far in my back my shape's gonna go. And then I can erase the lines that extend beyond the area of my shape. And I just noticed I forgot to do one from this shape, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Now, this line, I don't know where the top is, so I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. Uh, this line, I have the top, and this line is on the right, so I'm gonna connect it to the left. Stop when I hit my box in the center. The corner is somewhere behind this box, and I don't need to find where it is because I can't see it because this box is in the way. I'll do another shape over here, um, one with a bigger top. Here's my corner. Connect the top and the bottom of my line to each vanishing point. Two parallel lines, one on the left, one on the right, to decide how far back my shape is going to go. Erase the lines that extend beyond my shape. And I've got one corner hanging out here, so it's on the left. I'm going to connect it to the right. So if I've decided that my project is done, um, I want to erase my vanishing points and my horizon line since my floating shapes aren't really in any sort of land. Your last step for this project would be to add something to these shapes, color, pattern, texture, value. It shouldn't just be lines. Um, make it exciting, make it neat looking. Um, add your own personality into it.